Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book, number 445. 445 for all the saints. For all the saints who from their labors rest, all who by faith before the world confessed your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. You were their rock, their fortress, and their might. You, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. You, in the darkness, drear their one true light. Alleluia, Alleluia. O oh, may your soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. Alleluia, Alleluia. O oh, blessed communion, family divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one within your great design. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this Feast of All Saints, we ask the saints of heaven to intercede for us. At this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Marcella Philip and Patrick McMahon and all those in our Book of Life. For the times we have failed to be saintly in our words and in our actions, we bow our heads and ask for God's mercy, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelations. I, John, saw an angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the seal of the living God. And he called out with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to damage the earth and sea, saying, Do not damage the earth or the sea or the trees until we have marked the servants of our God with a seal on their foreheads. 
and I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 sealed out of every tribe of the people of Israel. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne, before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, Who are these, robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one who knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. The response to the song. Lord, this is the company of those who seek your face. Lord, this is the company of those who seek your face. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it, for he has founded it on the seas and established it on the river. Lord, this is the company of those who seek your face. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? Someone who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up their soul to what is false. Lord, this is the company of those who seek your face. That person will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the company of those who seek your face. A reading from the the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is who we are. The reason the world does not know us is that they did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in God purify themselves, just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come to me, all you that are weary and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. 
Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. On All Saints' Day, it's so important for us that we realize that in St. John's vision in Revelation of the great multitude of people in heaven from all nations worshiping God is a reminder of this communion of saints that we have the privilege to be called a part of from the day of our baptism. We think of saints that we know from all over the world, the ones that are canonized and officially recognized by our Church. Here in our own nation, we have the beautiful witness of Kateri Tekawitha and the Canadian martyrs. In Mexico, we have the example of Juan Diego. In Poland, St. Faustina. In Italy, Padre Pio. In Ireland, St. Patrick. Wherever we are through the world, I could go on and on and on. The point is, God has chosen people to walk through the trenches of life, who had to face the devil and the power of evil in the face, and said no, who made a conscious effort to live a holy life according to the standards of Jesus Christ, that they placed God first. Many of them, I think of St. Augustine, certainly didn't live a perfect life, and yet they were transformed just like our friend Zacchaeus in Sunday's readings, changed their lives and are now called saints. And so as we honor them and we thank God for their witness, we don't worship saints, but we thank God for these positive role models that assist us to continue in our lives and our own vocations from whatever part of the world we belong to and now find Canada home, that our true homeland is indeed in heaven, as the scriptures remind us, and that our focus needs to be Christ-centered that our daily decisions, our words, our actions, and those that we refrain from saying need to be rooted in Christ, need to be Christ-like, so that one day when the Lord calls us home, we too will be saints. Now, whether we're officially recognized by the Church for years to come or not does not matter, for indeed we not only give praise to God for those that we know, but those members of our family and friends who are already there that are not officially canonized yet stand at the throne of grace to worship God forever. And so, Lord, we thank you for these men and women, our brothers and sisters, your sons and daughters, who inspire us to live holy and righteous lives. May we be like them, placing you first and using our grace of today that comes from you to worship you in all things. Let us stand together and profess our faith, the faith of our Church. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confident trust in God, our loving Father, who calls us to true holiness, we offer these prayers this day. A response, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pilgrim Church here on earth, May God help us to grow in holiness as we endeavor to become saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for elected officials and those in authority. May the Lord guide them in governing with integrity, with special attention toward those who are powerless and vulnerable, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who lack faith and who are seeking God, that they may open their hearts to the saving love of His Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for this gathering of the faithful, that Jesus' love may empower us in offering strength and courage to one another and living as true disciples of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Marcella and Pat, all those in our Book of Life, the Holy Souls in Purgatory, and those deceased members of our parish family, that they may receive the mercy of God and eternal rest with the saints in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer, and for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Gracious God, you hear the prayers of all the saints. Please hear and answer our prayers, too, in your wisdom, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims, advancing by faith to rejoice in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the Church. You give them to us in our frailty, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the great multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially those for whom we now pray. And for all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, 
or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, with St. Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cypriot, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son and our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with the serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. We remember especially Marcella and Pat, those in our book of life and those we hold within our hearts. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, Juan Diego, Faustina, Kateri Tekawitha, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them and fill them with life. You bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of all the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Freed through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you ever be devoted to serving God and your neighbor so that together with all you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Tomorrow, the Feast of All Souls Day. Mass is here at St. Joseph, are 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. And when the strife is fierce, the warfare long steals on the ear the distant triumph song. And hearts are brave again, and arms are strong. Alleluia, alleluia. The golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, soon to faithful warriors comes their rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise, the blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. But then there breaks a yet more glorious day. The saints triumphant rise in bright array. The King of glory passes on his way. Alleluia, alleluia. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of pearl streams in the countless host. Singing to Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Alleluia, alleluia. God bless you. Have a good day.